Are you listening? That's right. You know, you got some women, like some of these things that go to the football games and basketball games, women mm -hmm. who just hunt down celebrities mm -hmm. who, who, who got money, celebrities who are millionaires, yeah. and deliberately make themselves available so they can get knocked up and get pregnant by the celebrity. That's right. Do you know, I, I dare some women, they don't, they don't never want to get married. They just want to have babies so that celebrity keeps sending the checks. Amen. I grew up with people like that. Yeah. I remember a young girl told me when I was a young man, she said, Nikki, I asked her one day, I said, do you ever want to get married? I wasn't proposing. We were just kids growing up and she lived across the street from me. I said, do you ever want to get married? She said, oh no, I don't ever want to get married. I just want to have a bunch of babies by different men and then collect that money. <laughs> we're living in a society that have no shame in their game at all. At all. At all. Think, young people. Amen. Amen. Stop being moved by that man that got 30 chains around his neck. Yeah. A ring, hand full of rings. Oh, yeah. Blood red Cadillac. Mm -hmm. And just looking like the rather neighborhood pimp. Amen. Stop being moved by greenbacks. That's right. Stop selling your dignity for money. That's right. That's right. Respect yourself. Yeah. If you don't respect yourself, it ain't nobody gonna give two cents about you. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. Listen. In Ecclesiastes chapter 34 and verse 9. Follow me. A man that hath traveled knoweth many things. A man that hath experience. Knoweth many things. That's what travel means. Yes. You ain't got no experience. What? How do you? Do you even know what love is? Mm -hmm. Before you tell that girl or that boy, I love you. I love you. You're going to be somebody else you're going to tell that to. Yep. When you're young and inexperienced, I love you. That don't work out. Shoot. I love you. That don't work out. Shoot. That I love you. That don't work out. Shoot. I love you. <laughs> and ain't love none of them. Amen. Why? Don't know what it is. Don't, know what it is. don't expect love to be produced by a person who don't love themselves That's right. and don't expect love to come out of a man or come out of a woman your direction and they too immature to even understand what it is That's and right. what it consists of Amen. he don't love me most time he don't know what it is yeah she don't love me most times they don't know what it is, know what it is. because 99.9 right. of people in the world think love and sex is the same. Amen. If that's the case, holes are very loving. Yes. yes. Am I right? Amen. If that's the case, that's the holes case. are the most loving folks on earth. That's right. Sex ain't love. No. Sex is pleasure. Mm -hmm. Bible ain't never proclaimed sex to be love. No. Sex is pleasure. Pleasure. You mean to tell me you determine a person's love by sex? It's like some, some men determine that woman's love by sex. Some women determine that man's love mm -hmm. by money he gives. Right. If he refused to give. Oh, uh, you don't love me no more. What's, what's wrong? Am I appealing anymore? That's right. That's right. You won't let him touch you no more? Well, look, look I'm going I'm to find my old black book and get him <laughs> off the golf balls. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> huh? Amen. It ain't love on neither end. That's right. That's right. There are some people have never experienced real love since they've been in this world. Yeah. And there are some people who don't have it in them to truly love nobody That's because right. they lack understanding of what it is. That's right. And they're too arrogant to be taught what it is. Amen. A man that has so traveled. what they do, spend mm -hmm. their life using Use. and abusing. That's right. Did you hear me? That's right. Spend their life using yep. and, abusing. and abusing. You see how the tongues, there ain't, ain't too many tongues now. No. There ain't too many speaking in tongues now. Yes, hey, man. Yes. No more, all the jerks even stop. <laughs> <laughs> the jerks I says. 
That's you might right. as well put your brakes on. Put that emergency brake on. Put the brake. Hey, man, stop all that jerking and get this stuff in you. Mm-hmm. Care nothing about your jerking. Yeah, you better hear what I'm hear telling it. you now. That's right. That's right. Amen. 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 Why do some husbands treat their wives like a bunch of trash? Mm. And the wives be saying, he don't love me. Have you ever thought, have he loved himself? Mm-hmm. Let me tell you something. Let's, give, let, let's have a new thought process on it. Before you start feeling warm and fuzzy, <laughs> <clears throat> call some guy tell you I love you. Yeah. Before you start feeling warm and fuzzy, <laughs> first thing you need to find out, do he love himself? That's right. And you cannot determine self-love because you wear a bunch of suits. No way. Because he spent a bunch of money on himself. Yeah. That's not the weight of self-love. He can be a materialistic junkie mm -hmm. and don't know what love is. That's right. Cause a woman give you sexual favor, that don't mean she love you. No. That don't mean she even know what love is. Amen. You ask some, I, oh, I love you, you do? What is it? I don't have the words. Well, I got time. What is it? <laughs> Do you get me? Amen. Let no one brush you off like that. And you talking about investing your life in them? Yeah. I love you. What is it? What, what is it? Well, the Bible says God is love. But right now, we ain't talking about spirit. That's right. That's We're talking right. about the human being. Yeah. What is it? What, what? Well, I feel chilly. You can have low iron. <laughs> You have a low blood count. Your sugar can be acting up. Amen. Nobody want chili or hot chili peppers or, or filling fuzzy. Ain't nobody want that. That's right. That's right. Do you see what I'm telling you? Amen. They won't hear Pastor Jennings. But they are listening at some dumb, ignorant fortune teller. Yes, they will. They go get a paper and read their sign. That's they right. They may be Aquarius or a Leo or a lizard or a crab or a lobster. <laughs> huh? Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. They worrying about some fool sign. Amen. Mm -hmm. A man that has traveled knoweth many things. A man that traveled know many things, meaning a man that been around a while, a man that have experience. He have a lot of knowledge. He have a lot of understanding. And he that has much experience. He that have much experience. Will declare wisdom. Amen. Lord, thank God. That's what make our teaching so good. He that has no experience. He that ain't got no experience. Knoweth little. And you find it backward. The mm -hmm. ones with no experience got so much to say. Mm -hmm. Don't want to hear nothing. You can't tell them nothing. Can't tell them nothing. A wise person loves to be around who they can learn from. That's right. A real woman want a real man. Now hold it. The term wanting a real man in today's society is used loosely because the term real man have different meanings to different women. That's right. The term real woman or strong woman is interpreted in different ways. Yeah. Because where one may come off thinking they're strong, mm -hmm. the other that's on the receiving end of what you call strength, look at it as disrespect. That's right. Do you get me? That's right. That's why I tell all of our sisters, if you work, save your money. Mm -hmm. Don't sit around and wait for a man to do for you what you can do for yourself. Amen. Lord, I want a man so he can put me in an apartment. Lord, please bless me with a husband, Lord. Oh, God, Father. <laughs> oh, Father. <laughs> you get a man, you get the apartment, then he beat you up all day. Beat you. And what you got? Mm. You got a man, you got a black eye, you got a broken rib, and your jaw's wired. 
My Lord. Every man don't have what it takes to be a husband, and every man don't have what it takes to be a father. Amen. So what is your definition of a real man? Real man. Someone who don't mind working. <laughs> a man, some don't mind working. Yeah. But you ain't gonna benefit from it. Because some got the mentality, I'm gonna work and it's mine. That's right. And I ain't giving you nothing. That's right. I ain't buying you nothing. Buying you, nothing. you want something, go out and get it yourself. Yeah. That's the way many men think. And got a wife. Won't buy her nothing. Amen. Amen. That's right. So what is your definition of a real man? Real man. I need a man that can hang in there with me physically. <laughs> I want to say, why would you say that, Pastor Dylan? Because that's some people's definition of a man. Of a man. I need a man that's making more money than I am. Because that's some people's definition of a man. That's right. I need a man that can buy me a car and afford me a house. That's some people's definition. I keep telling you, most people look for different things and then they call him a man mm -hmm. if he's able to produce what they want. That's right. And then if he can't produce what they want, then they said he's not a man. He's not. Do you see how small-minded people are? Yeah. yeah. I want a good woman. What is your definition? <laughs> a woman that wait on me hair and foot. That makes her a good woman. I mean, one brother said he want to get married. He don't want to dress himself. Wow. He said he just want to stand and hold out his arms. Oh, Lord. I think it'll be fine tonight. Kid you not? Hmm. Told me to my face. He said, brother, I don't want to listen. He said, when I get married, I don't mm. want to dress myself. I said, you're a grown man. He said, I should not have to dress myself. He said, I want a woman to bathe me. Wash me. Wow. Like, you know, like he coming to America. <laughs> hey man, you know I love to bring it so plain. Everybody got to understand it. Amen. And that's what he said. He wanted a woman to bathe him, wash him, and he said he wanted her to dry him off, throw the <laughs> throw the, the powder on him. Grace. And he said I should just be able to stand. <laughs> And she dressed me. Lord. I told them, you better go to the laboratory and bill her. That's right. And I said, after you bill her, you better watch her, because that That's robot right. gonna get tired. Amen. Do you understand what I'm saying? Amen. So the term man and the term good woman have different meanings in the ideology and the concepts of people. That's right. Because some can start out good. Then it end up terrible. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that man or that woman show you signs of their character before they, you say, I do. And if y'all have an argument and you're not married, and he's already up in your grill, <laughs> already telling you, look, if you was a dude, I'd drop you. Look, <laughs> you better back up. Look, got that mouth all to the side, back up. <laughs> You, you better back out. That's right. That's right. You don't ignore what's obvious right in front of your eyes. Amen. And be blind by your lust that you mistake for love. Yeah. And then not marry, get beat up. It, it and his be. way of apologizing to you is knock you up. Mm. And you say, oh, oh yeah, he's sorry. Making up is the best part of the relationship. Making up. <laughs> Tony Harbin. He loved this program. Thank God. He, he feels 
this program up on the website and points the people to the truth of God.